Hey, what's up everybody? We have a video today that was inspired by a gentleman that I ran into yesterday at the Goodwill. And this man told me that he was 70 years old and you know that he never drank water since he was 16. He's always drank pop. And uh, he's lived to be 70, it won't hurt you at all, but that bottled water will kill you. And yes, bottled water is not good for you. And the reason why is because it's acidic. And why is it acidic? It's acidic because of the plastic that it sits in. And for other reasons, they put chemicals in it and stuff like that. Um, this stuff will dry your insides out, cause you to have constipation and other crazy things. So I ended up getting some uh, water testing. And I know you've seen these videos before. Uh, what initially got me into testing the water was when we live in Ohio and we're two hours away from the East Palestine derailment. So I decided that, hey, I wanted to check my family's water. We get it, we're blessed, and we get it from a local spring that comes straight out of the ground and we know right where it comes from. Uh, and it tests at about a seven. I actually brought some out in this cup here uh, to show you. But I got, I got to thinking, I was like, what, what can people do that might help if this is all the access that you have um, and the way this came about this method was is um, we deal with goats M my sister-in-law specifically we deal with goats and occasionally those goats will reject their babies and they won't take care of them at all so you have to bottle feed them well goats are known to get acidiosis and acidiosis is essentially just acidic acid from, you know, like, like the water when you're mixing up their, their bottles or whatnot or however you do that, that's what that's from. So what you do to prevent that for in goats is you take a little bit of baking soda and you put it in one bottle a day, I believe. I tried to get an interview with Janessa. Uh, she uh, declined me. I wanted her to uh, give us a tour of the goats and talk about the goats, but that isn't gonna happen so with that let's get into this let's show you exactly how this works out and what it looks like it's very interesting uh, like I said I, I never give it much thought before until that derailment and I'm like I better check my water so I've got also over here I've got a bottle that I bought from Sam's Club to keep our spring water in it's supposed to be BPH free this has been sitting in here for several days now so I am ex interested not really excited but interested in checking this water and seeing exactly uh, what its pH level is uh, I can already tell you what this one's gonna be before I do it it's gonna be acidic so we'll see and this is directly out of my tap and it should be a neutral on the pH level side so hey let's uh, test this water all right and here goes nothing so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with this guy and pour him in this glass here and then we're going to take our I believe they call this uh, Regent liquid yeah I think I'm pronouncing that right but you can get this at Amazon you can find it on amazon.com to test your water if that's something you want to do and three Give it three drops and we'll stir it and you can already tell that that water like we knew is very acidic now even put it on a dark background to kind of give you more of a a look into the acidicness uh, me personally I'm gonna say from what I'm seeing that looks probably about a four right there you can see the chart it's on the back of the box it'll also come with the paper but I actually give my dad um, the paper along with a bottle so that he could test his water but that looks extremely yellow to me which in turn equals a four on the acidic side now 
Uh, we all know that um, if you drink acidic water, pop, and stuff like that, we know that that, uh, well, an acidic body is a diseased body, in short. You want to be on the alkaline side. The alkaline side prevents disease. Now, I'm going to show you from the spring water just so you can kind of have a little bit of a comparison of the difference and what it's supposed to look like. But, hit three drops. And it is actually looking, there we go. You can see how it's kind of, looks like a neutral, could be a six, neutral, um, maybe even, in, maybe, I don't know. I think it's a neutral, possibly an eight. Doesn't really look green. I don't know what they're gonna look like on camera. I'm interested to see. But that's the spring water that we have. So I've seen these videos, but no one has ever given a solution. And you know, like I said with the goats, what do they do? They take this baking soda, and you want to get the small granule size. This is a refrigerator size, but it, it still works. And you go ahead and you get your small scoop of baking soda, and you put this in your water. Now it's going to adjust the taste. You know, it's going to make it taste a little weird. It's going to kind of taste like, kind of almost like soft. But look at what that does to the water. That turned it to about an 8 to an 8.5, um, maybe even borderline a 9. I, I don't know, but it's definitely alkaline. So a shot of baking soda uh, appears. Now, I'm no doctor, no doctor, so, you know, but we use it in the goats on the farm. Um, but it appears to switch that acidic water to an alkaline water. So... If bottled water is all you can get a hold of, and this is it, I promise you, whether it's spring water, purified, purified water, it doesn't matter what it is, I guarantee you that it will be acidic. So, baking soda. If this is all you can get, I recommend putting baking soda in there. And I'm not a doctor, I'm not a health physician or anything of the sort. We use it on the farm for the goats to prevent acidiosis. And acidiosis is a thing in humans too. Um, in this video, I'll go ahead and I'll put up a, uh, oh, oh, some information on that. I'll put a, yeah, I'll put something up there for acidiosis. So anyway, that was just kind of a video that I wanted to do. Probably not the best of quality, but uh, that gives you an idea. And it gives you a solution to what you can do, hopefully, to uh, take your water from acidic to an alkaline state. Remember, an acidic state is uh, from pollution. It's from pollution. But uh, let's uh, do another test here that we were going to do. We'll pour that out. And we'll take the water from my bottle. This is supposed to be BPA free. I think I said that right. And we will pour it into here. And we'll test it. It's been sitting in this bottle for a few days. And we will test this water and see how it turns out. I already got my region out. <laughs> okay. Should have emptied the other one, but I didn't want. Yeah, it. I would have think that it's about the same, maybe a little different, but not much. So this sitting in this jug for a couple days in this BPA-free bottle um, has left my water unchanged. Now, I used to carry around a plastic jug from like juice jugs from the store, apple juice, because my kids love apple juice, and I used to take those to work with me full of water. And at the beginning of the day, my water would look like this, but when I bring it home, it would look yellow and acidic from the pollution of the water. 
from the pollution of the bottle, not the water. Um, so, you know, it, it, the test speaks for itself. Remember, when you test this stuff, to never drink this water. Once you put this reagent in here, it is not drinkable. Do not drink this water when it looks this way. But that's a little test. Well, that's the conclusion of the video. Wanted to get that out for you to see and give you a possible solution to the issue if this is all you have to drink. So uh, with that, we hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.